I went into this with uh, the idea that I wanted to help others, but I have gotten far more than I could ever give anyone else. I don't know how I could have done it without him. I could not have done it without him. Put it that way. When you're at home, you really get to know people more, who they are really all the time. They feel better, they're more relaxed. You get to see people interact with their families and just kind of who they are on a day-to-day -day basis and that's really neat. It's really important that people have at least someone they can count on. It's just been a godsend ever since. Dawn comes in every day and washes her, cleans her. And she gets that extra special care. And it's been good for me to, to see that, you know, to see my mother well taken care of. So it's just been a great service and they've done really well. I've been really, really pleased with, with what they've done. I'm part of the spiritual team. There's an inner need in the human soul for some meaning and connection to God. So everybody has that. On, on all levels. We touch their minds, we touch their souls, and, and it gives them an extra piece of quality of life, which is very special. My mom had Heartland, and nurses came out to, to see her soul, and they told me it was Heartland. I felt at ease because I know that my mom was taken care of really good. A lot of people are out here struggling, and they don't even know that they got the help out here therapists and nurses and it's not all on me. I have help. They're not even family and they, they care. And I think that's the best thing someone could ever do was have home care invented. We were fortunate to get connected with Heartland Home Care. Um, they were able to provide the IV antibiotics that he needed. What I found to be especially helpful was just the support of the pharmacists that worked with um, Heartland Infusion. It's important for a patient to remain in their home um, because it's their own environment, they're around their family, um, they're uh, around familiar things that um, make them feel comfortable, and if they can look after themselves in their own home, it's the best place to be. If Heartland didn't have its philosophy of care that it has for patients facing a life-limiting illness, Thus would not have got hospice care. They respected our right to make the choices and allowed Les to take the journey that he chose to take. That's the gift that Heartland gave us. There is a very strong partnership between the primary care physician and the hospice medical director. My role as a medical director is to educate the, uh, the doctors in the community that we are not uh, going to take over their patients. We provide care wherever the patient is, if the patient's in a nursing home, or assisted living, or um, at home. I can actually see a patient motivate themselves and get those goals taken care of. That makes me feel good all over inside. When he was at home taking care of him, it was just, uh, it took more than one person to do it. And I was only one person. We had uh, an RN there one day checking him after the heart surgery, and it was wonderful. It was just, they did everything. Care of other people, it's not, it has to be the, the whole package, and that's what I think Harlan provides. They have interests in, you know, um, the passive physical, it's also the emotional, and, and also uh, the emotional part for the family who was also involved. Heartland Hospice has been so good to my family, to my wife, to my father-in-law, to my kids, and to me, and to my mother-in-law. I can't say enough about all of them. I miss laughing with him. I miss holding his hand. I miss the quiet walks. I miss the sharing the funny stories about what happens with the kids or the pride that we share about our children and just saying, wow, isn't that awesome, look what they've done, you know? 
What Heartland allowed our family to do was to face a truly incredibly awful situation um, with grace and with love and with hope.